Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to set a password in Excel. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you how to use the protection capability in Excel. What this allows you to do is to make it so that somebody else can't access the spreadsheet. They can look at it, but they can't change things in it. Um, furthermore, you can, you can actually make it so that you, other people can change certain parts of the spreadsheet, but not all of them. And it's a very useful thing to do when you have a spreadsheet you're, you're sharing and you want to protect the calculations so that somebody doesn't inadvertently change them, but they can input the, the numbers that go into the calculations. So I have a spreadsheet here. It's a very simple spreadsheet just to illustrate the point. And all I'm doing is I have two columns of numbers and I'm adding them. So I've got a formula here, just column B plus column C. And what we want to do is allow people to be able to change the numbers in the box here, the first number and the second number, but not change the calculation. So the key to doing that is to protect the sheet, and I just made a note here that says this sheet is protected. It's not yet, but it will be when I show you how to do it. But the first thing, before you protect it, because once you, once you protect it, you can't change anything. So first we want to make it so that we select the cells that are going to not be protected. We select them, and I always like to make them into, into a, uh, a, cert a certain color before I do it. So I'm just going to go into here, and I'm going to go into the... Uh, the fill and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make a light fill color. I always like to uh, have it so that you can, you can see which, which cells are the input cells. Then we're going to go into that same menu. We're going to select those cells. We're going to go into the format menu, format cells, and, and click on protection. Now you can see that the locked box is checked. That means those cells are locked because the default for all the cells in a spreadsheet are always start out as locked. What we're going to do is we're going to unlock those cells so that they can always be changed. And then we click OK. Now we're going to go, and that, that applied to the cells. Now we want to change the spreadsheet. So we're going into the Tools menu. It may be a, diff a different menu depending on your computer, but on a Macintosh, you go into the Tools menu, go to Protection, and go to Protect Sheet. Now we could protect the whole workbook, but we're just going to protect this one sheet. And we're, we're going to do that, and we're going to, you can see that it's, it's going to, the protection is going to apply to the locked cells, unlocked cells, and the formatting. Those are the things that are going to be allowed if it's not for those cells we selected that are going to be not protected. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to enter in a password, and I'm just going to type, I'll tell everybody, I'll tell the whole world the password is Excel, E-X-C-E-L, and then to verify it, E-X-C-E-L, and then we're going to say OK. Now let's see what happens. Uh, we want to change the second number to 5, fine, we'll change that to 8, fine. We're going to change this formula. Ty the first time we try to type something, we get this message that it's protected and we can't change it. So you can, you can move around, you can look at it, but as soon as you try to type something in, you get this message. So I hope this has been useful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to enter a password in Excel. Thank you for watching.